you. You have, you have our commitment, both myself and I think Senator Brasso feels the same very strongly. Mr. Mr. Further, Chairman, has, further, further has, has someone who amendment. used to work with FERC and file applications and uh, permits, uh, I, I, I want to also be involved in this conversation because a regulatory process has to keep track of technology. And the, te and the FERC hydro regulations are really dealing with impoundments, dams, fish passage. This is an entirely different case. And I do uh, commend Senator Murkowski for bringing it forward. Uh, and uh, look forward to working with you on this. And we have a five-member FERC now, and I think we can get this done. Okay. Further? Senator Sanders. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'd like to call up Sanders Amendment number 53. Number 53, Sanders Amendment. I think that's in what, Title VI? Yeah. Okay. Senator Sanders. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, it should be no secret to members of this committee, I hope, that climate change is real. It is devastating, causing massive impacts in our own country and around the world, and it is only getting worse. I will tell you, and it's extremely hurtful to me, troublesome to me, that just last night, two communities in Vermont, St. Johnsbury and Lindaville, experienced torrential round, uh, rainfall, massive damage, Last week, we had a massive flood. A year ago, we had a massive flood. All of this in a way that we have not seen for 100 years. I would hope that at this point, every person on this committee understands that climate change is an existential threat to this country and to the planet. And that's not me talking about it. That's what virtually every scientist who studies the issue agrees with. And yet, given all that we know, the United States Congress is still considering legislation to provide a huge giveaway to big oil, to drill, produce, and sell more fossil fuels. Just one provision in this bill, Title VI, liquefied natural gas exports, will greenlight five massive LNG projects that will lock in annual carbon emissions equal to 165 coal plants. This includes the CP2 LNG terminal in Louisiana, which would be the largest LNG export facility ever built. Don't believe me. Let's look at what Senator Barrasso said when he introduced this bill, and I quote my friend John Barrasso, quote, we permanently end President Biden's reckless ban on natural gas exports, end of quote. Am I quoting you correctly, Senator Barrasso? All right. Yesterday, more than 360 environmental organizations, 360 environmental organizations wrote to members of this committee urging them to reject this bill. This is what they said, 360 environmental organizations. Quote, this legislation guts bedrock environmental protections, endangers public health, opens up tens of millions of acres to public lands, and hundreds of millions of acres of offshore waters to further oil and gas leasing, gives public lands to mining companies, and with de facto rubber stamp gas export projects that harm frontline communities and perpetuate the climate crisis, end of quote. It is my view that we should reject this legislation altogether, but what I am here to do today is to offer an amendment that would strike Title VI, which locks us into carbon emissions equal to 165 coal plants each and every year. For the sake of our kids and future generations, I urge my colleagues to support my amendment and ask for a roll call vote on Sanders Amendment 53. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thank you, sir. Any other discussions on this? If not, I have a statement to make here that I would like to 